Hey everyone, get ready with me to watch the new episode of Agatha All Along, take one. I'm actually not even syncing up audio, I have like a shotgun mic, but this is really cute for Halloween. Halloween clacker. I've been doing kind of like on theme looks for the show. I've done like purple, green, mixture of purple and green. And now I'm thinking I was gonna go with a red because of like the fire sign witch, Alice, I think her name was, so. Ill maquillage, no filter, poreless based smoothing primer. Let's see if it's smoothing. Ooh, okay, it actually is kind of like blurring the pores. Everyone online says you should do your eyes first, and I get it because then there's no like fallout from the makeup. Trixie's palettes that I use really never have a lot of fallout. Um, but I am gonna do eyes first because apparently that's what you're supposed to do. So let me know, do you guys, do a lot of people use eyeshadow primer? I don't always, but I do notice a difference. Like I feel like it does pick up the shadow better, like the pigment. Or it might be like a placebo effect. Ooh, okay, so I guess I'll do a base layer of blocked. This uh, breakup palette's pretty hilarious. Crash and burn, heartbreaker, stupid cupid. Stupid cupid is the orange. And just like this like chocolate bot, this is so fierce. Ooh. I feel like the shadow like exactly matches my skin tone. This show's been really good. It's really giving me faith in Marvel that we got. A gay witchy show. I really never thought, cause I've been a huge Marvel like comic book fan since I was a child, but the MCU, ever since 2008, Iron Man came out. I remember my friends, a lot of straight guy friends back then. Everyone was like, who's Iron Man? I was so pumped. Ooh. I was so pumped for Iron Man that was coming out in 2008. And I remember all my friends were like, what the fuck is Iron Man? Like, who was that? Because oh, people only really knew of Spider-Man at the time because of like Tobey Maguire. I guess people knew of Blade too, but no one knew that it was based on a Marvel comic. But Blade, if you didn't know that, Blade, the vampire movies are based on Marvel. And Agatha mentioned vampires last episode. Not Agatha, the divination witch. And this really is the best show for them to introduce or just even mention vampires for the first time, you know? The one good thing about doing eyes first, I'm just gonna be able to use makeup wipes to like snatch it. I've noticed with hooded eyes, I have to like keep my eyes kind of open when I'm doing every step. So I kind of know what it's actually gonna look like with my eyes open. It's annoying. If I like have my eye completely closed and do it, and then I open my eyes, it's completely different. It changes it up so much. And I'm a dog groomer. And so it's kind of similar to when you're trimming a dog's face with their mouth shut and then they go to pant and it, their face completely changes. And so you have to like kind of make sure they look good mouth shut and panting. I surprisingly never do any content about dog grooming. I don't know if it's partially because like that's my day job and this is just kind of like a fun hobby for me. But I also just don't really know, besides just filming yourself at work, which can be kind of annoying, how, like what other content I would do for dog grooming. Like there's no like reaction video, stuff to react to, like only a dog groomer would know. Or is there, I don't know. Okay, right in with this like red crybaby. Okay, it's definitely adding some red. This is like a darker red though. As I'm like tapping the makeup off, it's getting all over my new phone. I got the iPhone 16. What's everyone's thoughts? So I got the like a Apple intelligence beta and there's really not just like that many features. I don't know. It just seems cooler in the ads. Like, well, like they're promising that we'll eventually get more stuff. I don't know. That's just very not Apple like, but, and the camera is the button. The camera button is just a gimmick. It's so annoying. It's unnecessary. Okay, and then I'm gonna try this stupid Cupid and I'm gonna hope that's kind of an orange because I wanna add more of a fiery orange element here. And then I wanna do some type of shimmer in the corner, in the inner corner. Ooh, this is such an intense red. It's very Katia coated. Okay, and then for like a red highlight in this, this shimmer up here is a re called Revenge Bod. Let's try it. It's kind of like a rust almost. This is intense, like a metallic 
rusty rose gold color. I guess now let's try to snatch this. Okay, I think I'm gonna eventually add even lighter highlight in the corners, but for now, I'm just gonna go with my NYX liquid eyeliner. One of my go-to's. Just gonna do like just a small little wing here. Really just gonna do a small one that kind of just like follows the color. Um, I don't know if what's easier, using a makeup wipe or concealer. I kind of like using concealer, but I feel like it can't be good to be like putting makeup into your eye. I also got this new um, Anastasia Beverly Hills Tinted Brow Gel. Okay, let's try the Tinted Brow Gel. I've never tried it before. It instantly darkens. But there's like a shorter side and a longer side. So it's the shorter side for like the smaller parts of your brow. Ooh. Yeah, that's a huge difference you can see from one side to another. I never used to use brow products, but really like snatching your brow like this and making it darker like does add to the look so much. I really wish I had like darker mustache. And I wonder if this will work. I need to go in with some lighter um, shimmer in the right here. Ooh, okay, yeah, that's helping the look so much. Okay, eyes are kind of finally done. Uh, I've been using Makeup Forever HD Skin Hydra Glow. I love this shit. This stuff is like, it can kind of like, can be both. It can be for like the everyday girlies where you don't want to do too much or you can go heavy handed with it and like do full coverage. So it's pretty cool. I like it. I'm a fan. Having a dark goatee is so weird. I'm using Trixie's P24 foundation brush. I do live for this brush. My only wish is that it was like a little bigger. Other than that, it works really good at like blending out foundation. I do like this brush. I also feel like a little goes a long way with this foundation. I'm using four pumps. This is my fourth pump. This is my fourth pump. I really need to get like a hair tie or something. See, doing brows first, it's so hard not to get foundation on them. I use Trixie's bronzer sticks for contour. Love it. This is shade S'more Sun. I like doing a chin contour normally, but I have I didn't shave before this, so I guess my hair is gonna be the contour. Logged out, leaving me dumbfounded. Now I look truly insane. I usually like to try and like brush the contour up. So I feel like it gives it more of like a snatched look. And I heard it's like better for your skin if you like put products on like going up. So if you do it down, apparently it'll like stretch your skin out more. And... Ooh, Taylor Swift did? Of course you did. Work. Taylor Swift donated $5 million to the hurricane in Florida. I love her. What is that, like one night of her show? Yeah. So that's literally just like a write-off for her. But honestly, like fears. I wonder what other celebrities are, you know what people are gonna criticize her for? Oh my God, she's like flaunting her philanthropy. It's like, I'm sure she didn't go out and announce that she's donated. People like find out and like literally, I saw her wearing the freckle, the freckles at the football game, and I ordered them. And so, like, people know everything that she does. I'm so excited for those gold freckles. <laughs> yes, grateful, rare beauty liquid blush. Let's try that shit. Let's try her. And it's like really intense. Like one dot is like all you need. But I like it though. It goes with this red look, uh, and it's like showing up on camera good because like in person, it's a lot more red. But on my camera, with like the lighting I use for some reason, it you don't see blush as much. Rare Beauty is, I really like Rare Beauty. I don't like their foundation, only because it's not full coverage enough for me. How are you supposed to do concealer with like eyes already done? Okay, so I'm just like carefully trying to blend out this concealer without fucking up my eye. Again, the Rare Beauty setting powder. Light, love this. I also got her new like finishing powder compact, which is so cute. Some powder bronzer, Trixie's, I love it. Powder blush, I have the Kimchi and Trixie crossover, really cute. I wanted more of like a red 
The Summer of Love palette. Okay, so that's kind of more of what I'm going for over blush color here. <gasps> Ooh, her blush palettes are so fierce. Sabrina, what has she you done to the blush culture? It's, now I just go way overboard. Now for the lip, I was thinking about doing this NYX red, uh, what's it called? Lingerie Double XL. This is a really intense red. Then I'm gonna use one of Trixie's new liners, which is kind of like a darker red here. This is fashionably late. I am always fashionably late. Red lips scare me because it's so intense. Like red and a black lip are a lot. It is really pretty red though. What is this actually? Oh, it's just a matte liquid lipstick. Ooh. Okay, so I don't know if I should leave the lip or add like a little bit of shimmer. Let's go back in with the Katya underscore that I did in the crease here. Ooh, okay, I kind of like that. Yeah, that really pulled the lip together, I think. The Rare Beauty Pressed Finishing Powder, I do live for. Okay, I think this is the final look. I have the lashes, I have the shadow, I have everything. I think I'm ready to watch Agatha all along. This took way too long. Thanks for watching. Let me know how you guys liked the episode.